boys and girls, how are you? I know that you're all uh, very well and uh, you're starting at your home. Boys and girls, I'm going to start a new lecture on the basis of physics second part, second paper or second part on the basis of chapter number five. And you know that the name of the chapter number five is called to electromagnetic induction and AC current. My previous topic, mean value or effective value of AC current. Mean value or effective value of AC current. You know that the equation of AC current, I will equal to I naught sine omega 3. So here I equal to the equation of AC current, here I naught equal to the peak value or maximum value of AC current. I know that this is a constant function. Omega equal to angular frequency or angular velocity of this AC current. If you draw the graph uh, of AC current versus time, then this graph is uh, just like a sinusoidal wave that's drawn at the left side of my board. Now, boys and girls, uh, I'm going to calculate the mean value or average value of AC current for the case of half cycle. So, I can write down here I half its average value will equal to 1 divided by P by 2 because I'm going to take here the amount of time of half cycle because I'm going to calculate the mean value of AC current for the case of half cycle and that integrate it 0 to T over I and DT over I and what DT you know that boys and girls uh, here we call to what we call to here uh, 2 divided by T integration of 0 to T I will call to I naught then sine omega t and then dt. This i comes out from the limit of integration. This i naught. Because what? Because this i naught is a constant function. And this constant function always free from any kind of limit of integration. So i naught comes out from the limit of integration. It will be called to, I can write down, 2 i naught divided by capital T. And then integration takes place over sine omega t and then dt. You know the boys and girls, if you integrate sine theta, then what will be the outcome? You know that the outcome will equal to minus cos theta. And again, if you integrate sine m theta d theta, then what will be the outcome? <laughs> The outcome will equal to minus 1 by m cos m theta. So I'm going to use this formula in this state. So if I'm going to use this formula in this state, then I can say that it will equal to here 2 into i naught divided by capital T. And then it will equal to minus 1 by omega cos omega into t having some limit that is. 0 to t having some limit that is 0 to t so here minus and 1 by omega comes out from the limit of integration we equal to 2 into i naught divided by omega into capital t having a negative sign and you can replace the value of limit at the place of small t at first you can use the upper limit at the place of small t then you can use here the lower limit so you can say it will equal to cos omega into capital T minus cos than zero. You know that omega is called angular velocity and this omega will equal to twice pi divided by capital T. So what is capital T? Is the time period, is the value of time period. So if you multiply here omega into T, omega into T, then the outcome will equal to 2 pi. So the product of omega t, you can say that here, it will equal to 2 pi. Now, minus 2 i naught will divide by omega 2 will equal to 2 pi. Then cos omega 2 will equal to 2 pi minus cos 0 will equal to 1. 
So boys and girls, cos 2 pi. What is the value of cos 2 pi? I know that. All of you know this very well. And cos 2 pi will equal to minus 1. So I can say that it will equal to here, minus 2 and 2 will cancel out. Uh, so here it will equal to minus i naught divided by pi. And then cos 2 pi will equal to minus 1 and then minus 1. And then what? Minus 1. To complete this equation, I'm going to erase the upper part of this board. So it will equal to So it will equal to what? It will equal to here minus i naught divided by pi is multiplied by minus one into minus one. Will equal to what? Will equal to here minus two. So minus and minus will equal to plus. So plus two divided by pi. So I can say that here two divided by pi multiplied by i naught. So what is the value of two divided by pi? The value of 2 divided by pi will equal to 0 0.637. So it will equal to what? 0 0.637 of I naught. Will equal to here 63.7 percent of I naught. 63.7 percent of I naught. So this is the value of mean value or average value of AC current. This is the uh, equation, those are the equation for mean value or what? Or average value of AC current. Now, the total formula for the case of mean value or average value of AC current will equal to at first 2 divided by pi i naught. Then it will equal to 0 0.637 i naught and at last it will equal to what 63.7 percent of i naught so these are the values of mean value or average value of ac current these are the values of what mean value or average value of ac current okay boys and girls uh, i think you have no confusion about these properties of AC current. Now, in the next step, I'm going to calculate the effective value of AC current. You know that. The effective value of AC current is also called the RMS value of AC current. So, the effective value of AC current or the RMS value of AC current, those are the same thing. Now, I'm going to calculate the RMS value of AC current or effective value of AC current. Let's see. How to calculate this? RMS value value or effective value of AC current. RMS value or effective value of AC current. You know that boys and girls, RMS value, I RMS of AC current. Do you know what is RMS stands for? This RMS stands for root mean square value. This RMS stands for what? Root mean square value. Root mean square value stand for this RMS. So I'm going to write down here at first root, then mean, then square value of AC current. This is a very complex equation. You see, this is a very complex equation. So to solve this very complex equation, at first I'm going to find out this value mean square value of AC current. Suppose this is equation number one. So I'm going to find out at first mean square value of AC current. So uh, mean square value of AC current. How can I find out this? This is mean square value of AC current for the case of complete cycle. So one by 
capital T. And then it is integration by zero to capital T. It is I square and then dt. It is what? I square and then dt. I square then dt. Okay. Now in this place, one by capital T, then zero to T. What is the value of I square? If I equal to I not sine omega t, then I square will equal to what? I square will equal to here. I not square sine square omega t and then dt. Sine square omega t and then what? And then dt. This I not is a constant function. That's why this I not comes out from the limit of integration. So when this I not comes up from the limit of integration, I can write down here I not square by capital T. Limiting value of zero to capital T, it is sine square omega T and then dt. You know the boys and girls, to solve this sine square function on the basis of integration or by using integration, this is a very tough task. Okay, we cannot handle a square function of sine, square function of cos in the case of integration. That's why we need to convert this. So how can you convert this? You can convert this by using some formula of integral for trigonometry. You see that uh, two into sine square theta. Will you call to what? Can you explain this? Can you say this? Two into sine square theta will you call to what? Yes, it will equal to 1 minus cos 2 theta. It will equal to what? 1 minus cos 2 theta. So I need to convert sine squared function into this pattern, this type of cos function. But how? I need to, I need to uh, apply here 2 with coefficient of sine squared omega t. So if I write down here 2, then I need to divide the whole function by two. Then this equation becomes in a balanced condition. So it will equal to I naught squared divided by two into capital T. I'm going to apply this formula. So zero to T, it will equal to one minus cos two omega T dt. One minus cos two omega T then dt. Now, when I multiply this, boys and girls, when I multiply this uh, segment part to solve this equation, then let's see what will happen. You see, boys and girls, here it will equal to I naught square divided by 2 into capital T. So, the first segment is 0 to capital T and dt and the second segment is 0 to capital T. It is cos 2 omega t and then dt. Cos 2 omega t and then dt. Now I'm going to solve this integration part. It will equal to I naught square divided by 2 into capital T. And then you see here at first capital T, 0 to t, then it will equal to 1 by 2 omega. And limiting part here, sine 2 omega t having some limit 0 to t. Having some limit what? It will equal to here 0 to t. So these are the limit here. These are the limiting function here. Okay. Now we need to solve this limiting function. Boys and girls. To solve this limiting function. I can say it will equal to 1 by capital T. 0 to uh, is a second bracket. At the place of capital T, at first I can use the upper limit minus then lower limit. Minus 1 by 2 omega. In the place of small t, I can say here sine 2 omega into capital T minus sine 0. Minus what? Sine 0. Now, it is I naught squared by 2t. 
I not squared by 2t. Okay, so it will be called also I not squared divided by 2 into capital T. And then capital T minus 1 by 2 omega. Do you know what is the value of omega into capital T? Uh, omega into capital T will be called to 2 pi. So I can use here sine 2 into 2 pi minus sine 0 will be equal to 0. Now, boys and girls, do you know what is the value of sine 4 pi? I know that. Uh, it is uh, 0. Okay. So it will be called to here uh, 0 squared divided by 2 into t. It is uh, 0 minus 1 by 2 omega will be equal to 0 minus 0. Will be equal to what? 0 minus 0. So, so the square mean square equation of AC current will equal to I naught square divided by 2 into capital T into capital T. Will equal to what? Will equal to here I naught square divided by 2 into T. Uh, T will cancel out. I naught square divided by 2. So, this is the mean square value of AC current. I repeat again, boys and girls, this is the mean square value of what? AC current. Okay? So, this is uh, I square bar will equal to I naught square by 2. If I use this, term, uh, this value in equation number 1, then definitely you will get the root mean square value of AC current. So, the root mean square value of AC current will equal to what? Let's see. The mean square value of AC current will equal to, it is root over I naught square divided by 2. Will equal to what? Will equal to I naught by root over 2. Do you know what is the value of uh, root over 2? The value of root over 2 will equal to 1.414. And what is the value of 1 by root over 2? 1 by root over 2 will equal to 0 0.707. So it will equal to what? 0 0.707 I naught. Will equal to 70.7% of I naught. So what is the equation of uh, RMS value of AC current or effective value of AC current. Now, the equation of RMS value of AC current, I RMS, will equal to I naught divided by root over 2 will equal to 0 0.707 I naught will equal to 70.7% of I naught. So, these are the detailed formula about RMS value or effective value of AC current. I repeat by singles. These are the detailed formula of RMS value or effective value of AC current. Now, I'm going to give summary of my previous lecture. Boys and girls, I'm going to give summary of my previous lecture. After uh, completing my whole lecture uh, that I give it today, you can explain the following thing. So, summary. You can find out mean value or average value of AC current. Number one, mean value or average value, average value of AC current we call to I average for the case of half cycle is nothing but 0 0.637 of I naught. We call to here. Uh, it's also 2 divided by pi of I naught. It will also equal to 63.7 percent 
of I naught, also equal to 63.7 percent of I naught. So these are the value of mean value or average value of AC current. This is the value of what? Mean value or average value of AC current. Now, my second point, that is RMS value, RMS value or effective value. Effective value of AC current. AC current. It will equal to what? It will equal to here I RMS is nothing but it is uh, I naught divided by two. Uh, it's I naught by root two. It's I naught divided by root two. Will you call to what? Will you call to 0 0.707 I naught? It will equal to here 70.7 percent of I naught. So these are the values of RMS value or effective value of AC current. So after ending my previous lecture, um, you can find out, you can explain this formula. Okay. And this formula you can apply uh, to find out the different properties uh, of AC current. At first, you're going to find out the uh, average value of AC current. You can find out the effective value of AC current after completing my previous lecture. Boys and girls, uh, please stay at home and keep safe and keep healthy and keep studying. Boys and girls, uh, that's the end. That's all about my previous lecture. Thank you. Thank you very much. And thanks for watching.